morning. Uh, so we're currently in the Black Hills. I'm trying to fill my archery deer tag this year. And uh, do we are gonna be hunting with my buddy Lucas, um, but a uh, little change of game plans. He uh, got here a little bit earlier than I did and uh, he put down his buck just this morning, just about an hour ago. So um, I'm currently on my way to the Game Fish and Parks office because I forgot to get my archery tag online um, in the state of South Dakota. It's an over-the-counter archery tag um, for deer and antelope. So I'm just gonna run over there, uh, grab that real quick, and then uh, head out to the spot and help Lucas pack out his buck that he shot this morning. And then uh, we'll get going on my hunt. So we'll change the game plan. Good day. <laughs> so I've been sitting about a hundred yards that way for the better part of the last two days. Today's my third day out, and um, I'm seeing just lots of deer, good bucks, some forkies, one really nice four by four. Um, every morning, every evening, except for last evening, we didn't see a whole lot. But this morning, I came back to the spot. And I was expecting to see something out across that ridge over there, take a 150 to 300 yard shot. Um, and this guy comes out on my side of the valley uh, at about 80. And I'm sitting in between two jack pines and he, he kind of caught me off guard. I didn't have hardly any time to even get to my rifle without him looking at me. Kind of had a staring contest for a second and the way I was sitting I couldn't shoot left handed which would be normal for me. So I'm like, well, it's within 100 yards. Should be able to shoot it off and Never done that before, but put it up to my right shoulder and it's holding fine. I could look through the scope just fine and shot him and down he went. Got both lungs just below the back strap and uh, he didn't go anywhere. He dropped right on the spot. A successful hunt can be called after a hunter has successfully harvested their game. This, however, is when the true work begins. The infamous pack out is where the hunter has to put in the work to cut up their game and pack it up to haul out of the field and back to camp or their vehicle. This is truly where you earn and appreciate the meat you have just harvested from your game. It can be backbreaking work and grueling with a heavy pack, but definitely rewarding. Game plan is get everything situated and then go to a spot that's going to be more conducive for Ezra to shoot something with a bow. Probably set up a blind, set up camp, um, shoot another deer. So we just set up camp, uh, we got the tent up, got our sleeping uh, our sleeping arrangements all set. Uh, so now we got the, ow, that's hot. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got the mini grill going. We got some, uh, some antelope from this past season. I'm um, courtesy of my father here. Um, but yeah, so we'll get some of this going, some of this inside of us real quick, uh, get refueled up and then um, on the way in, we saw a nice four by four in this uh, little clearing. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hike it out back over there, uh, set up a blind, something, something like that, um, and then see if I could give it a poke with my bow.
so uh, we just got back to camp and uh, didn't have any movement at all today. Uh, there's a bunch of shots around us, but uh, nothing went into that little meadow that we were uh, that we had our blind looking over. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go back to the same blind tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning and then give that a shot. And then if nothing happens right away in the morning, uh, we'll come up with a different game plan in the blind. So yeah, so right now we're just gonna make some dinner, uh, warm back up, and just do a little camp life stuff. All right, so for tonight's dinner, we're gonna have some of Lucas's uh, buck heart. Um, neither of us have ever cooked a heart, um, so we don't know necessarily the if there's a right or wrong way, but doing a quick Google search, because thankfully we have some service here. But uh, doing a quick Google search on that, Lucas is getting it prepared now and uh, just heating up the rest of that uh, that gravy and antelope that we had for lunch. But yeah, we should uh, get the rest of the camp going here in just a minute once we get situated and ready to go. All right, so I've been whittling sticks because we don't have any other method to really get little pieces of heart cooked properly. I think it'd fall through the grades. So just kind of skewering a bunch of pieces of heart and we'll grill them up and see how they taste. All right, so along with our deer heart, we're gonna be running some Idahoan loaded baked potato mash, mashed potatoes. Uh, that, and then we got some gravy left over from, from uh, for lunch. So, uh, gonna get working on the mashed potatoes here, and then get going on dinner. But yeah, add two cups of boiling water to a heat resistant serving bowl. Okay, so I gotta boil two cups of water. Two cups should... I mean, you'd think a cup would be... Oh, Jesus. Is 12 ounce beer a cup? 12 ounces a cup? I feel like 12 is a lot for a cup, right? I think right? it's 8. Is it 8? I think it's 8. Alright. Got the water boiling now. Once that gets boiling, we'll add in potatoes. And, uh, should be cooking. Celebratory cigar. Sure. All right, welcome to camp. We'll start with the kitchen at the front. We've got water boiling, heart yet to be thrown on. Ezra's eating spam. Oh my beer! Not that over. Got this nice tarp we are not stepping on, or I guess we will step on eventually. We're kind of keeping all of our stuff out in front. Um, and we've got our tent. We've got some nice insulated sleeping bags. We'll probably uh, turn the heater around after a while. And Hang out, stay warm for a bit. It's really nice out though. And uh, that's home. Let's see which one looks good. That looks pretty, pretty solid. Pretty good. Can you compare it? Tastes like deer. Texture is pretty tender. I don't know what the hell to compare that to. Pretty dang good though. All right, so uh, we're just gonna wrap up the rest of the night here into uh, day one of camping out here in the Black Hills. Um, yeah, so we'll just run over overall final thoughts on the on the heart. What are what are your thoughts on the heart? Uh, the taste is good. Texture is definitely a little different. You said it was like liver. Uh -huh. um, I think a little bit different preparation and having some seasoning would probably uh, That'd be big. That uh, would, would be make big. some major improvements, I think. Yeah. But uh, not something I would never have again. But I think you just got to do it a little bit differently. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I, I'm 
300%, I think, uh, tastes like mallard. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what it was. It, it To me, it tastes like mallard. Maybe it's the waterfowl hunter and me thinking everything tastes like mallard, but um, yeah, I thought it kind of had a texture of liver and uh, tastes like mallard, I guess. But it was very tender, very good. Um, I think we just had a lack of seasoning and lack of any other way to cook meat besides our, our mighty grill here. But yeah. Only thing left to do for today is I'm going to skin out my head on the buck. Um, didn't do a year mount with it, so got to remove all the skin and take off the lower jaw and then uh, find a way, I don't know if I'll boil it or get to scraping at some point. I don't know exactly, but no urgent rush on that. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're going to get that, uh, Luke is going to get that skinned up. And now uh, we're going to get ready for bed and have our early morning and hopefully successful hunt tomorrow. After a long day of packing out Lucas's buck and hunting, it was an absolute treat to wind down at camp with a good buddy, eat good food, laugh, and enjoy the beautiful night that we were blessed to be in. All right, it is the next morning and uh, we are on our way back to the blind. Um, it was a pretty, pretty calm night to be honest with you. It was pretty warm. Uh, we had the heater pumping into the tent for a little while, so the tent got nice and warm. Uh, uh, got a nice, nice little cozy two version of the tent, kept all the heat all in one spot. But yeah, so it is about six o'clock right now. Um, we can start shooting at 6 30. So, uh, kind of get out there just a little bit early. Um, the blind's only about five, ten minutes away from here. So, I'm gonna hop in the truck uh, and head that way. So, see you guys in the blind. this valley first and probably go across it and then sit up on some rocks where some muleys have been coming by the last couple days and see if we can make a plan on them if they come by. Thank you. 
Well, we're back at the vehicles, uh, ending the day, ending the video here. Um, got, Lucas had some early success. Um, I obviously didn't tag out, but I still had a really good time. I uh, had a good time at camp. Uh, everything went very well at camp. Uh, we stayed warm. We went to bed warm, woke up warm, had warm food. Um, had stuff that we've never had before with a deer heart. Uh, some great experiences. Um, got some new locations to hunt in the Black Hills here now. Um, but uh, with, with every hunting trip, we all know that not everything can be perfect. Lucas, do you want to? Uh, my tire now has a leak, so <laughs> that's just the cherry on top. I'm going to have to find a way to fix that yeah. prior to going home tonight. Yeah. Lucas has so, a. Who's that? You have How long would drive home do you got right now? Uh, like four and a half hours. Yeah, four and a half hours. It's. You'd maybe. Think. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. We'll see. Yeah, it yeah, is. Uh, we'll figure it out. That time of year, is, this time of year is great with hunting season, but it also sucks because it's every bit of 4.30, 4.45 outside, and it looks very, very dark. I mean, we have a light on, so it looks a lot brighter, but it looks every bit of 7 p.m. But yeah, so we're going to wrap it up. Had a great time. My time of need, what does my friend do? He records my pain. Ezra is an asshole. <laughs>